huge pleasure to welcome Miguel to the stage. Miguel, if you want to introduce yourself um, again, I know that we met you at the beginning of the session here today. I'll let you finish clicking those buttons to get the slides up and working. We can see your screen at the moment, which is glorious. Um, there we go. I'm sure that that will, will come through in a second. So Miguel, and as you mentioned earlier on, is joining us from Peru um and um is going to be talking through achieving a social license to operate through shared values so everybody please put your hands together for the fabulous miguel okay thank you thank you sarah for the opportunity to to share my this presentation um, obviously uh, thank you for the invitation in this uh, responsibility role materials conference 2022 and give me the opportunity to present a, a one presentation that try to uh, how to achieve the social lines to operate through share value. This, uh, this presentation is the product of several years of experience and on, of obtained lessons learned uh, in the interesting and challenging work around the extractive uh, activities and their relationship with the communities, uh, authorities, and other stakeholders around to the mining activities. What I, I uh, in this occasion, I want to uh, to present um, is um, the context, the context and the challenges that currently um, exist in Peru, and uh, what is very similar to other, other countries, and how through the uh, innovate and social strategy not not only um, can social uh, conflict be reduced but also sustainable development can be achieved you know? and how to achieve that is about the uh, share value strategy in this in the case of the mining context uh, in the case of peru when we talk about the mining we associate in two aspects the world and social development and the uh, social conflict because uh, in the mining uh, uh, activity in Peru is the most important pillar of the economy. It contributes approximately 10% of the GDP and the 60% of the export of the country be, being of the mining sector. But the social conflict is very special in the mining sector, no? 65% of the conflict uh, in Peru is around to its relation with the mining uh, sector. And the, the great social risk in this moment is because this uh, conflict generates because a lack of communication and relationship with the community, a lack of transparency, not compliance with social and environment commitments. And this in this during the last years, this lack of capacity to resolve the conflict in the new government no? and poor corporate governance in some companies. What is the challenges of mining in Peru not right now? In Peru, in the, in the almost 20 years, now generate a, a crisis of trust. No? Why? Because uh, the mining activities not, uh, is not possible to close in of social gaps and develop it of the rayons that a mining activity is, is, uh, exists. The little collaboration between the actors, the mining sector, authorities, companies, and communities to achieve a sustainable mining and we propose is difficult, exist a little collaboration. Um, the environmental ability to exist because in Peru, in, in the Incas stage, uh, exists the mining. And for this reason, it exists uh, environmental ability, environmental damage. Now in Peru, approximately 8,000 environmental ability exists in all the country. The promotion of, of initiative to achieve a sustainable mining is a big, big challenge. In the all the world, change the, the energy matrix. And now we need to work very hard in this topic, no? reduce the uh, uh, emission of CO, CO2, promotion of mining supplier and digital transformation, correct water use and close, close of mining with uh, communities. And the, the, the other important challenges for the mining sector is the, the, out, the authorities not grant the, in the correct time, the permissions of license to exploration and operation activities. No? 
but we present now a one uh, social strategic that uh, is product of the experience of the lesson learned. You know? I think that the now in, in not, not only in Peru, in all, all the world, it's important to improve cooperation through peaceful coexistence, generate trust, dialogue, and development of social projects. You know? They are be seeking to reduce and and order prevent conflicts and meet the community's needs in order to maintain and strengthen the social lives to operate and improve the company image. It's, it's clearly uh, there is a evidence in the world that when collaboration is promoted through dialogue with respect and trust, not only it is possible to reduce a conflict, but it is also possible to promote a sustainable development. No? For this reason, in this slide, put these uh, this, uh, highlights is the more collaboration, then less conflict, and then great probability of achievement sustainable development. With more cooperation with all actors, obviously reduce the level of conflict. And we need to work very hard in this, in this uh, object. And we have obviously uh, to how to increase cooperation and reduce the level of conflict. We propose a seven steps. No? First is open the doors and key stakeholders re good relationship, obviously with a trust and with a respect, fulfillment of commitments. The transparent is very important. For example, the record of commitments or maybe one book of commitments for commitments of the all uh, uh, mining with the communities and the governance, the authorities with the communities is important. Then is a sustainable development project, but creating shared value. In the next slide, I explain this. What is the shared value initiative? Obviously, we need a multi-actor approach. Engaging, engaging the national government is very important. They, they improve the perception about the communication face-to-face -face and communications uh, very different uh, uh, strategics and integration if the local economy is important the employment the local employment and the local suppliers that give opportunity the company the mining company is necessary to give opportunity to the local uh, supplier and in the the last uh, uh, step is we the companies and I think in all industry now need to work to propose you know, Sustainable is based of, on the business, on the ESG that uh, Michael explained in the, in, the or, in the before presentation, is very important. No? Now, this is the same slide, but obviously in the different uh, presentation, it's important that they, we need to comply with agreements, we need to focus on high impact social projects, we need to create shared value, improve the perception, and we obtain the social acceptance that is very important for this activity. I talk about the um, what is the, the evolution of the corporate social responsibility. No? First, in, I think 30 years or 40 years ago, we talk about the philanthropy, the donation and voluntary, but it's not linking, linking in to, the, to the business strategic, to the core business. No, it's additional, it's a, a spend. No? When, when uh, emerging the corporate social responsibility, talk about the, okay, we need a good citizen, we talk about the sustainability, but it's continue to not link to the business. No? Beyond the corporate social responsibility, talk about now with, uh, in 2009, for example, in 2012, the green capitalism, the circular economy, the inclusive capitalism, and then, uh, emerging the measure of social impacts, you know, achieving a high ESG and green scores, now the fist. Then now talk about the, the purpose. You know? Why do we, do we exist as a company? It's a very important question. And I think now in, in the world and all industries talk about this. Why exist the company? Exist only to obtain the, the, the income, the maximum income for the, for the shareholders, or the company exists to generate, a, a improve the quality of life, and improve of the world 
around to around to the industry and now for this how to companies uh, made this propose and i think the creating the share value initiative is very important because in the case of share value is not is not a, a new corporate social responsibility is a different is a business strategic is a uh, when and i and i put the that the mike porter uh, 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 mentioned no the business is acting as business not us not as charity donors are the most powerful force for addressing the pressing issues we face it's different topic no and if i mentioned uh quickly uh the history about the share value you know? so in 2011 mike porter and mark kramer writing a one article in harvard business review and it is in these years it is incredible but in this year the the legitimacy of business has diminishes because business growth is perceived as being achieved at the expenses of the community you know? in 2011 but i think continue this uh, perception you know? and it's different this is a one slide that i show the difference of the corporate social responsibility and share value you know? uh, the, in the corporate social responsibility is a respond to external pressures in, in the case of share value respond to the idea is to create a joint value for the business and the community uh, and the in the case of corporate social responsibility led by the department of internal communication and corporate affairs in the case of share value drive by the ceo and the senior manager team across the company why because it's a business strategic no it's not it's a corporate social responsibility uh, different no? and in this slide i show that the, the idea of share value is in the intersection of social needs corporate resource a business opportunity. Share value is a business strategy that management to increase the income of all actors related to the company. It is an increase in the revenue pie and not re a reduction of one actor for the benefit or not of or no, another. No? This is very important because we some some people think okay, this share value is a, a new corporate social responsibility. No. Share value is a business strategy because the idea is how to resolve the needs, but at the same time generate value for the company. And in this slide, I show that the share value require a change in perspective from the effort to result. For example, to uh, is uh, normal considering that the social problem as a community issue view the social issues as a business priority is a, when you think in the share value. And uh, then, then in this slide, I talk, talk about the current paradigm and they create a new paradigm. You know? Share value provide new opportunities to create a space from the constructive dialogue and competitive solutions. For example, in the case of, of the, the negative environmental impacts, reduction, reduction of water resource and environmental liability. Why no? Uh, if you, if the companies think about the share value initiative, what, how, how, how we create a water market, for example, that allow more efficient extractive operation and ensures the stability of quality of water supply. You know? it's, it's different uh, paradigm. You know? And in development of share value, not only makes it possible to maintain a social lines to operate, but it's also help to build in a more sustainable world. And I and I think it's important for me this, this slide because with share value projects, you help achieve the SDG. It's true because the share value, if if you think that the okay, the company need to make SDG, for example. If you think, okay, I, I want a one project of SDG, but the, the project is necessary to generate value for the company, it, now in this moment, you generate a share value. It's the same of ESG. No, I think that the ESG uh, commitments is necessary to reformulate and achieve share value projects. If the ESG uh, uh, commitments 
uh, generate share value is good for all. It's good for the company because the share value initiative obtain a, a, a value for the company too, for the shareholders, and, re, and resolve one needs. No? And the share value obviously uh, contribute to reinventing capitalists and fight, fighting the cause, the cause of climate change. No? And this is a, some uh, examples of share value. I, I talk about only for the developed and competitive local supplier because this is for me, this is the best um, uh, example of share value because if the company uh, if the company to work very hard to training the local suppliers and the local supplier give a competitive uh, service for the company is better for all, better for the company, better for the communities, better for the people, generate more jobs and the companies obtain a good service. No? This is a one picture of the one uh, example of share value. It's important because, for example, one developed round table of, of Walayok district in Cajamarca region in north of Peru began with a strike after a deep dialogue where it was agreed that the, the company could provide an initial fund and help manage funds from the national and regional governments. Positive meetings were held that conclude with a lunch invited by authorities. No? I think this is a, a one a free picture that show that the, uh, the good examples. No? Then I, I'm, I'm obviously finish uh, talk about the, uh, the 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 letters of the CEO that uh, in the BlackRock uh, uh, funds uh, talk about the the propose no? uh, Larry Fink CEO in 2018 and 2019. I think that the in these years and continue, uh, Larry Fink talk about the without a sense of purpose, no business, whether public or private, can achieve its full, full potential. It's very important. No? It will eventually lose its license to operate with stakeholders. If not have a purpose and not work very hard to, to, to make the purpose, probably to reduce the license to operate. And the other topic important for me is profit is in no way inconsistent with propose. In fact, profit and propose are intrinsically linked. It's very important for me, and I think that is is necessary to talk about the propose. Why? Because how to the company made a good propose? If 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 we uh, assume the share value strategic, it's possible to made a good propose in, in short time. And then I finish, finalize this presentation and, and open to the question and only mention the lesson learned no, in this, in this uh, slide. Uh, at the end, for me, is there, there is not a magic receipt for a good relationship and our, 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 and our achievements are the result of the constant learning. Thank you. Miguel, thank you so much for this. It's absolutely brilliant, the insight that you have brought into our room today. Thank you so much. And there are there are questions coming in left, right and centre, which I propose what we'll do is firstly, we'll give you a big round of applause to say thank you 